Bon Vini. Oh, you didn't say Bon Vini with me this morning. It's a little early this morning, so we're being quieter than normal. But welcome to Curacao. Today's Curacao day. It is your favorite port of call, like ever. It is. It's beautiful. Yeah. So it's a little early. Uh, we've got another adventure planned for this morning. We yep. partnered up with Irie Tours here yes. in Curacao to do their. It's a, a western side of the island beach hopping tour. So we get to go see some awesome natural, there's like rock formations mm -hmm. where I think the waves make kind of like blowholes yeah. and snorkeling to see. And snorkeling. I've, I've heard there's even flamingos involved. That sounds absolutely so, amazing. And we've already loved Curacao, but we didn't get to see too much of it. So today we get to explore pretty much the rest of it, I think. So At least the western side of the island. So I'm ready to boogie. I don't know, but first, breakfast. No, dance. I just want to dance. Well, I'm excited. You can dance your way to breakfast because we're hungry. It is a six hour excursion, I think, so we are going to need to bulk up on food. Yeah. So it's from like 8.30 to 2.30. So. Well, but they do have food options that's true. that they, you can purchase. There's a lunch where you can uh, stop and buy lunch. Mm -hmm. So that's the lunch, you know. We'll obviously tell you more about it or you'll see. That's true. So we're going to get some breakfast and yep. then we're going to roll out because it's just after 7 now and we're supposed to be Dying. clear at about 8.15 or so to get off the ship. And we got to go. That's right. So off to breakfast. Bye. I love you, Curacao. Right. I love you, Curacao. I am breakfast. <laughs> Good morning, cow dinosaur. We're in Curacao. He's excited for us. Oh, there's a new friend around the corner. Like a, 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 oh yeah, he's got a little bit of a pink nose. Two different color eyes. You're awesome. Bye. Oh my goodness, speaking of towel animals, it's towel animal takeover morning and there are turtles. Wow. What in the world? Baby turtles, big turtles. Towel animals, if we weren't in such a hurry to have breakfast and go have fun in Curacao, we could look at all of you. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of towel animals. Whoa. Hi. We are buffeting it up this morning. There's D's selection of goodness. I went ahead and got a nice assortment to keep me full for six hours. And some muffins, which I will share. We came back for you, towel animals, after breakfast. I told you we'd visit you. They have a lot of turtles. I don't, is that a turtle too? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, they knew I was on the ship. They did. They were like, gotta make extra turtles. We have the Liberty of the Seas down in there in port with us today. I think that's it, just two of us. Freedom. Oh, is it the Freedom? You know how I get them mixed up all the time? Freeberty of the Seas. No, it's the Freedom. All right, our instructions said to come under the big white tent and look for someone holding an Irie Tours sign. D has spotted them already in an orange shirt. There we go, easy enough. Look how easy that was. All right, we are all checked in. She said we have a little bit of time to look around and do some shopping. So, Dee is already staking out Christmas ornaments. Nice. Picked one. You picked one. Which one? Ship's wheel? Oh. No, it's just Curacao and it's the building. Cute. Wow, we're back in Curacao. We're so excited. <laughs> I see over there you can even get blue Curacao. We pointed that out last time. Baby fat owl. My sister really likes fat owls. No. <laughs> okay, get that she calls them chubby owls. She does, but it's like this big. It's so I mean, it's really colorful and purple. stuff we've done. Open air bus, it's awesome. Yeah, I like it. Hold on your hat. Yeah, never know. 
That is true. We've got the speakers right here behind our head, so we should be able to hear everything real well. Pimento and Bombini, that means welcome. There's a shit to poker. Shit to poker, if you translate it definitely into English, it means seven months. But in this particular case, it would be seven days. So that's called Boca Tabla. Here we'll have half an hour stuff, photo shoots. The turtles came like happy. Um, Mascots there and they have an hour there with just fine for you to swim in it. Then not too far away, just about two minutes, you'll be on a cliff. It's just 40 feet high. Okay? Just 40 feet high, you go forward, comes about tiptoe, and you go into 14 D. You guys want to swim, right? In a longer period, we take you to number eight on the 25 most beautiful beaches list, which is the big cliff. That's what we call our most photograph beach, it's our postcard beach. We're gonna take 35 minutes ride to a hidden treasure in the desert, which there we'll have an opportunity for two hours. Stay, and after that, we have the flamingos. Across the sea is Capilla de Ojochi, it means Chapel of the Twins. So, only Easter with a lot of traffic control, Easter morning, they open it and people can do the, come and do the prayer. This is an old slave house, they installed it just as it was originally. And you know, slaves were brought in, in the, by the Cape Fur, um, by the West Indian Company in 1640. As you see, the haystack on top. So you naturally, have a house with a haystack. You don't build an oven inside, right? So the oven is right outside, as you can see, where that small little building is with the tile on top. A new friend already? Yeah. Wow. So we have arrived at Shetaboka, which roughly translates to seven bays, we learned. Or mouths. Seven mouths? That's what he said. All right. That's well, my friend. Yes, that is your friend. So cute. So we're gonna walk down this path and see awesome stuff at the end. Sun's coming out. Okay. Yep. The rain has let up. Still feel a few drops, but safe enough to keep this camera out for now. Natural stairs. All right. Uh oh, starting to rain on us now. I've made it up to the top of the world. 
See if I can protect your camera. On, so I think I'm gonna escape back to the bus. Oh, see water spots on the lens. Yeah, a couple of rain clouds have decided to come out and say hello. All right, D is hitting up the restroom back there. I've been trying to clean the lens off as best I can with a t-shirt. I should have remembered. Actually, I think I do have a microfiber cloth in my bag, so I might be doing some GoPro footage if the rain holds up though. So underwater mode on the land, you know how it is. <sighs> Remember with the turtles? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it takes us about 15, not 15, less than 10 minutes. Turtles, I keep hearing them talk about turtles. I really, really hope we see some live. Jamming with turtles. In Pokemon, we see Playa Piscado. And it's here with the fishermen after they don't have the catch. Right here near the shore, they open them up, ah. throw, the, throw the guts in the sea, and then they attract the turtles. And then here we're gonna have the 30 minutes stop. Now we provide snorkel mess, it's free of charge. If you need one, you can just come and grab one. Well, we are in GoPro mode because we have been getting rained on, so. Got to protect the main camera, but D is going to try to get in here and see if there's a turtle to be seen. If anybody can see a turtle, it's going to be you. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I like that. You just pop right back in the frame. <laughs> well, guaranteed turtle footage because there's a turtle. And there's a turtle. And there's all kinds of turtles here. So I'm just hanging out on the dock up here overlooking, but there are all kinds of turtles. There is D. She is up close and personal with the turtle's booty right now. <laughs> Look, he just popped up and said, Pah! Gosh, she's partying with like three turtles right now. Four turtles. Yeah. Turtle party. The sun has decided to come out halfway nicely now, so I had to go get the good camera. So how is your day going? Best day ever. Wow. I saw like six or seven at one point. There were like a dozen turtles out there. Guaranteed turtle footage. Yeah, when I came out to the first, uh, to the end of the dock for the first time, you were shooting a turtle's booty. It was some booty footage. <laughs> it, was, it was bootiful. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, so cool. Yeah. And I, it's enough time, too. We'll definitely see some turtles. Oh, yeah, there are tons of them because I mean, they feed them I here, sort day. of. Well, if there's the net in the middle right there with all the fish in it, and then they feed the, they cut up the fish parts and put them down there and it attracts the turtles. Nice. They're so many. So many turtles. Yeah, I saw lots of turtles. Wow. 
That, I was gonna say, what noise did they make? So tell Matt to come here, he wants to see turtles. Well, that's true. Matt, come here. Matt, come here. Where is this? It's a place. Fisherman's Beach, Playa Piscato in On Curacao. Well, Well, that's right. So, so cool. All right, we got about three or four minutes till the bus pulls out, so we'll get you back in your gear with your towel and all that stuff. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so we are headed back to the bus. I think our next stop is actually a place where they do cliff diving. Okay. Don't know that cliff diving will happen for the two of us, <laughs> but we'll see some cliff diving, hopefully. Yeah. Awesome tour so far. Very we're off to a great start, and we're just barely getting started. <laughs> Caca! Nature. Caca! See, he understood me. Run, little rooster. Look out. See where we're gonna head now? You see the yellow wall there? Ah. That's where we're heading now. At the end of the yellow wall, there's a platform. You go and stand on that platform, you jump. Okay? It's 14 feet deep, only 40 high. You have a close up, close look, see? Ah. It's not so high, eh? Yeah. All right. No, no. You see the ladder? No, no. Neither. No. So we're gonna stop there on top. And you guys gonna go for the jump. Now, my friends, maybe some of you might have an urge for a restroom. You can go in the restaurant, but they charge a dollar for the use of the restroom, oh. okay? Yeah, there's the little yellow ones, and then the big ones come down and kind of scare the little ones away. Yep, so here is the zone where you can jump off. I don't know if we can actually get down to see the platform where people are jumping off. Oh, and there's somebody just jumped. Yeah, we'll see if we want to go stand on one of these uh, nice little outcroppings and see, but it looks nice. Maybe the turtles will swim down here and say hello. Kind of doubt it. Yeah, we'll skip all that for now. I think we're skipping that. And there's a Royal Caribbean with all the new Fairlane, the St. Martin's, and they did ball Oh, uh, the baby's Yeah? Um, yeah, they're really bad. Woo! Now the rains have returned, but after this it should be two beach stops, so we're going to be in the water, so I don't think the rain's as big a deal there. You have to send me that one. Rain, rain, go away. That's it. Don't come back. Just go away. Now, my friends, I see some of you were eager to jump, but you're scared of heights. So at the other beach, we will be within 10 minutes. They have low levels. You can jump curl and then gradually also go the same height there at the beach. That will be the big nip. They will have one hour stuff. Okay, friends? Enjoy the sun. <laughs> Did you just woohoo? I did, yeah. Spontaneous woohoo. <laughs> Couldn't be helped. There was a sign up at the top that talked about the pricing for the loungers and all that, but I did not get to film it yet. Maybe I'll get a look at that when we get back out. No. But we left all of our stuff on the bus, so literally all we have is what's on our bodies and cameras and all that. So we don't even need a chair or anything. Well, that's cool looking. Only lots of little rocks and things. Let's see if we can find the, the point of easiest entry. Yes, we both have our water shoes today. Snorkel mode D, getting ready for action. All right, let's see what you can see here. I have I know. You got all sorts of rocks to explore. Fish on that side. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. She'll be all up on that rock wall. <laughs> Bye, snork, snork.
I see somebody flying a drone down there. I brought mine, but we're having to see it weather permitting. It's not raining right now, but these clouds are a little threatening. Well, this is seriously some beautiful beach. Beautiful water, beautiful everything. I always like the whole contrast of like the sandy beach and then like the rocks with the cactuses, cactus eyes, cacti, cactuses. Dee, of course, has headed straight for the rock wall over there like I knew she would. Kind of looks like some cave type action happening, so I'm curious to see what kind of footage she gets today. Award winning, of course, naturally. school of some kind of fish over here that keeps jumping up out of the water not really out of the water but breaking the surface of the water i don't know what kind of fish and they won't do it when the camera's on so i'm gonna say they are shy fish we're trying to figure out where he was talking about that you jump off of it looks like that cliff area over there i see some people on it haven't seen anyone jump but that looks maybe like a jumpy zone also down on this side, there is a rope hanging down off of this cliff. So it looks like maybe you have to climb a rope and you can jump off of those platforms? Question mark. Or you could, you know, just scale some cactuses. Just climb right up them bad boys. There is some jumping happening from over there. Jumping confirmed. It's a wild day as we wait for more jumpers in the background. No, no, you don't want to. You don't want to swim and get jumped on. Yeah. And they told us this would be the less crowded beach, and we have about an hour here. This is what Kennepaw Beach, and then we we go over to. Oh, help me! I think it's like Ponte Marie, something, right. something Marie, Porto Marie. Yeah, Puerto Marie, and we spend an hour and a quarter, hour and a half there. But this is awesome. Boom. More jumpers. Bye, snort, snort. Okay, goo goo gaga. Boom, caught some diving in action. I just realized I didn't even put my sunglasses on today. I don't really need them, it's still overcast enough. So if it were a little sunnier, the water would probably be clearer. But it's nice, nice temperature, nice overcast. Very nice for a temperature sensitive fellow like myself. And us being the smarties that we are, neither one of us have any sunscreen on yet today because we're like, I have face sunscreen. clouds are going to protect us. Well, that's not true. And I of course, have face sunscreen. Oh, did you? Now the sun is coming out a little bit. But, but that's good. I'll probably put some on before the next beach. Yeah, I will. Might be a smart thing to do. Maybe we'll have a little more of this kind of weather coming our way and this kind of weather going bye-bye. Get out of here, gray clouds. Nobody needs you. I mean, you know, other than crops and plants and things to grow and, you know, stuff like that.
I think you've lost your mind. That one part does sound like your fish call, actually. Wow. Yeah, you lost your mind. So not a ton ton of fish out here, I guess, but you've seen some stuff. It's basically like something in a giant pool. A gigantic, salty pool. It's awesome. Oh, there we go. It is $5 US per sun lounger. $10 for the umbrella or $15 for the package.